Mala is so important for me. Maybe I have a little bit from Mala in my character. <laughs> and you know, for me, it's so fascinating. Mala composed his life. And his life was so uh, interesting. Not always uh, beautiful. <laughs> so he had bad times. But you, you can hear this in all these things in music. Love and uh, hating and uh, so for me is uh, except Mozart, uh, Mahler, the, the most uh, interesting composer. Now when you're performing a symphony like Mahler 6, do you have in your mind a perfect performance? No, and the, uh, the, the most important thing is I must have a conception. And this conception is fixed. You cannot change this uh, conception. But when you hear my interpretations, they are never the same. This is maybe also a reason uh, your own feeling because he composed life, and life is, is never, li life changed, always, in every minute. So I cannot conduct this, this symphony, uh, for example, simple example, uh, six malas, 83 minutes. No, it can be the next performance is uh, 79 minutes, or 86 minutes. But beneath these differences, there is a single basic conception. How do you form that basic conception? Oh, that's very difficult to explain. How? That's my secret, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I came very late to Mahler. And I think that is uh, very important. Sure, you, as a young man, you can conduct Mahler. It's no problem. So Mahler is not so, so uh, difficult to conduct. But I think um, it is necessary that you have a big experience in, in or with your own life. And then you are ready for Mahler. I was a string player. So I, I know a lot of string technique develop a string sound that's so important for Mahler. You, you, you have to play as a string player in a, a completely other style than you play Mozart or Beethoven. And not each orchestra can, can do this. Sure, they play a good Mahler, but uh, the secret is this romantic uh, style sometimes very sweet and, and you sometimes we have special fingerings to develop a phrase you know and so we become nearer and nearer to to Mahler. You say that Mahler 6 is the most difficult Mahler symphony why is that? Oh my god <laughs> it is at first uh, for the orchestra, for everybody, the most tiring symphony. You know, the end of the performance, the orchestra's wet, you know, and, and tired. And, but this is, this is not, not the, the problem. The problem is to interpret the, 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 all this, this um, many different Things much much more than in other Mahler symphonies, um, his ideas sometimes crazy, you know, and also in the in the harmony, it's not so clear, it's uh, very dissonant, and uh, a lot of extreme uh, uh, polyphony, you know, and it's very 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 difficult to bring it very clear and to bring the most important instruments in this moment. When you have a tutti orchestra, 120 people, they play in fortissimo. But you must hear 
the most important parts of them, you know. In other symphonies, it is, it is necessary uh, that you have a good balance between emotion, that means heart, and intellect. But in this symphony, you must, you must have more heart. They have to play like devils and angels. They have to exaggerate almost uh, the whole symphony. You can never relax. Never in this 80 minutes. That's, that's unbelievably tiring for, for the orchestra and me and the audience.